Do certain movies or topics freak you out? We're going to talk all about it. Stay tuned. That's what's up next. Hi, my name is Natasha Daniels. I'm a child therapist and I help kids with anxiety or OCD. Today I want to talk to you about protecting your mind. And I'm being serious actually. So when we have an anxious mind, we are much more likely to hold on to things. I have a big file in my brain of things that are totally upsetting and it's growing every day. Do you have something like that in your brain? A lot of us do and we can't control that. That's just the way that our brain works. It says, oh my gosh, that was disturbing. What if that happens to me? What if that happens to my family? Whoop, in my file it goes, right? And that file is ever growing. And at night when we're tired, it might come out and our anxiety might look at the file. Ooh, did you see this one? This one was really disturbing. Let's just talk about that for a minute. And then it might show up in our dreams. Ooh, this is a great movie theme. Let's just make a story around it and freak you out and give you a nightmare. So we don't want to add stuff in our file because that kind of we're carrying around that forever. I mean, I have things in my file from when I was a kid. And it's not even stuff that happened to me. It's stuff that I read or something that I watched that my brain fantasized about and thought, this is what it would look like if you were the main character. And then I think about it and that gets hardwired in my brain and it gets put in my file. So you want to be aware of what things kind of freak you out, what things trigger your anxiety, what things make you nervous, what things stay with you for a really long time. And then you want to realize that you're not being a big baby if you don't want to put those things in your file. And the only way to not put them in your file, in your brain, is to not be exposed to them, to not watch them or hear them or listen to them. And it took me a really long time to do that. I used to watch really creepy, like real crime TV shows. That was not good for my anxiety, especially when I'm home alone. I can hear the stories in my head. Don't do that, that's not good. So you want to first think about what things upset your anxiety and then, where do you find them? Are you watching things on YouTube or Netflix or Hulu or Amazon Prime or TV that are upsetting? You know, are you watching them because everybody else is watching them and you don't want to be left out? Or you think you can handle it in the moment, it doesn't scare you, but maybe days later, your anxiety is like, woohoo, we got a doozy in your file. Think about this one. What if that happened to you? Does that happen? That happens to me or it did until I started to protect my brain. Um, do you have friends who talk about really freaky stuff? Do you have people who like to let you know about the worst thing that's happening in the news or what's happening in the neighborhood? Or let me just go over the entire plot of the show that you're trying to avoid so you can hear it through my perspective. That doesn't help, right? So what you have to do if you want to protect your file and make it really tiny, because we do have a good file too, right? So we want to build this one and shrink this one, is when someone's talking about something that's upsetting, just find an excuse and walk away. So that's not being rude and that's not being a baby, that's protecting your brain. You also wanna watch out what you are surrounding yourself with. Who do you follow on social media or what are you watching on YouTube or Netflix or Hulu? Are they disturbing? So stop, stop saving them, stop watching them. Even if you just gotta know the ending, the ending's gonna stick with you for 30 years. Do you really want that? Probably not. <laughs> so be aware, protect your brain. I don't read the news. I'm not ignorant. I get the highlights. If something is really bad happening, I would probably be notified. I'd get some sort of alert, but I'm not going to read the nitty gritty about all these bad things that are happening in the world that are crimes or that the world is falling apart because my anxiety can't handle that. My anxiety adds that to my file and late at night, I think, oh my gosh, how are we going to handle all this? So I just need the highlights, I don't need that. And if you're a kid, you don't need the news at all because a lot of times the news isn't gonna talk about the great stuff in this file, it's gonna talk about the horrific stuff. It's gonna bring you spoon-fed the worst of the worst. So watch out what you observe, what you listen to, and what you follow. People are negative too. So who do you follow on social media? Are they uplifting or do they let you know about the worst stuff in the world? Are they mean or nasty? I try to follow inspiring people so that my feed, wherever I am, is full of inspiring things. Now maybe that's cheesy, but I live a much happier life and my file isn't growing nearly as fast as it did when I was a teenager. So watch what you're listening to, who you're around, and what people are talking about. You don't have to live in a bubble, but you definitely don't have to add to your file. 
Well, I hope that you find the sparkle in everything you do, and I'll talk to you again next week.